Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with everything that's wrong with music today. No, actually, it's not quite that, but it comes close. It's Handel from Hell. We have the B-Rock Orchestra, Barack, I guess, conducted by Dmitry Sinkovsky on Pentatone, doing Handel's Waterworks, that is the the, the water music and the fireworks music. And this is just vile. I mean, pukefyingly vile. I mean, it's, oh my God. First of all, let's, 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 let's get with the basics. The ensemble. The size of the ensemble is, well, I don't know, there may be like five or six people here. No, there are more. There are one, two, three, four, five, six violins, first violins, one, two, three, four, five, six, second violins, um, a few violas, what's one, two, three, four, five of those, and four cellos, and three double basses, and a bunch of oboes, four oboes, two bassoons, one contrabassoon, three horns, three trumpets, the bare minimum. I mean, bare minimum. Two lutes, like they're really going to make a difference, right? Two lutes. Um, a harpsichord and organ, and then another harpsichord, so two harpsichords, like you need more than one, and a timpanist and a percussionist doing a snare drum thing in the fireworks music. All right, first of all, let's get down to brass tacks. The forces are too small. They're just too small, especially in, you know what, the fireworks music, which was written for the largest wind band ever assembled before like the 20th century. It It, it is absurd to play the fireworks music with these tiny little teapot forces because you can't do anything like produce the grandeur of sound which Handel built into the music. I mean, you can't. Plain and simple. They can't play it. They can't. And they don't. I mean, they 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 noodle their way through it, of course. But you want to hear trumpets and horns and Massed woodwinds. No, you don't have to do it with the original scoring. You know, you can add violins or whatnot. But you know, you know, and I know, you do not want to hear this music with a prominent harpsichord continuo. Or God forbid, an organ. For what? I mean, for what? Why? There's nothing in this music that requires harmonic support. Zippo. And it wasn't originally played that way. So if you're going to do period instruments... What this performance is, is a collection of annoying period instrument mannerisms devoid of any sense of, of applying them to the music at hand for the purpose of enhancing its expressive import. Get what I'm saying? I mean, the water music. First of all, this conductor guy. None of this music was written to be played with a conductor. You, you don't need a conductor. It, it's, you know, I did the video about music that sounds best, the less you do to it. Well, here is the locus classicus. The less you futz around with this music, the better it's going to sound, right? And and here we've got, we've got this guy, Sinkowski, doing all kinds of messy phrasing things. You know, bump, 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 the horns, right? And sometimes... You, you know, the horns are like, dot, 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 Oh, it's, it's, it's grotesque. You know, it's, it sounds like they're extruding some oleaginous substance from the end of their instruments instead of just playing a trill. It's all you have to do is play a trill. Play the damn trill. What, what, what's, you know, what's, what's the trick there? You know what I mean? And and in, there's all kinds of dynamic manipulation. I mean, you've got trumpets and drums. They're all marked uniformly forte. Now, I understand you want to do crescendos here and there. There's usually in the overture to the fireworks music, you know, before the last reprise of it, you know, that the percussion makes a big crescendo. But, you know, Handel didn't write any of that. It's all added. Okay, it's exciting. Fine, do that one thing. But to have these... Trumpets and drums playing piano and mezzo forte and whatever. They're all supposed to just let it rip at a continuously high volume with continuously vivacious rhythms. And that's all there is to it. But if you want to hear a pint-sized string section and two freaking harpsichords clanging and banging away in the back, then you're not going to be able to use the dynamics that Handel indicated, even with the reduced brass and woodwinds. 
that we have here. And you honestly think that when 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 King George was was wafting down the Thames in his barge, he had a bunch of musicians on another barge that had two harpsichords. I mean, have you ever heard a harpsichord in an outdoor environment? Is there any bigger waste of of, of energy and resources? No, there is not. I mean, so these performances are simply grotesque. I mean, they're just fast where they're fast and slow where they're slow, but they are manipulated and massaged and squeezed. So many, the ends of phrases are tapered down or squeezed out. Oh, it's, it's, it's just, I have other imagery that I don't want to talk about. What I can tell you is that this dirt disc richly deserves the Scarlet Scarf of Shame. It's almost impossible to screw up this music. It's easy to play. You know, it's written for you know outdoor performance to be as foolproof as it possibly can be. What matters is the rhythms, the tunes, and the, the general masses of sound. But to manipulate every single freaking phrase and all the dynamics and all of this screwing around just because you happen to be in a concert hall environment uh, is is unidiomatic, tasteless. I mean, beyond tasteless, it's vulgar, and 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 it sucks the energy, the life right out of the music. I mean, this is this is an embarrassment, absolutely an embarrassment. One of the worst Handel records I've heard in like ages, and I mean it. So keep on listening, folks, to other things. That's history, really history. I hope I didn't hit the cat. Take care.